treated equal. But this nation said we all created equal. So somebody's lying. Somebody's lying. But God say, God say that, God, hey, sis, I see you got your fringes on. I see you got your fringes on. Talking to a woman, you? but you confronting my grandchildren. No, I'm just talking to you, sis. No, come, come here, no, come here. He is. For one, you're not an Israelite. Show me in the word. Okay, hold through on. the precept, through Isaiah 28. With the precept. With the precept. <laughs> where you come from? Hey, you sis. Are not even an Israelite. Sis, 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 sis. How you doing? What's your name? What's your name? Excuse me. Don't you talk to my children? I'm the mother. Yes, ma'am. I was you talking to your children. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And I understand that. Ma'am, ma'am. You talking to me right now? Wait, wait. That's what the Bible say. That's what the Bible say. Give me that. Let's see. Let's see what the Bible say. Let's see what the Bible say. No, sis, we always wear a dress. Yo, yo, our women always dress modest. Our women always dress modest, sis. You see me with makeup That has nothing to do with God's law. That has nothing to do with God's law. Give me that in Exodus. Give me that in Exodus. So, see what the problem is? Exodus 28. Give me that. Hey, Ilya. 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 Exodus 28. No, we we gotta do everything in order. Yeah, we gotta do everything in order. You know what? You know what's happening? Give me, give me First Corinthians 14 and um, uh, 14 30. Oh, so you ready to fight us, sis? You ready to fight us? Hold that. Give me Leviticus 1917. Now guess what? You gotta get this first to take. We are all men for the most high God out here. That's we are all books out here. But guess what? That's the problem with our people, you don't know how to love each other. You don't know how to love each other according to God. Read that. It's the book of Leviticus, chapter 19, verse 17. The men that's out here, we out here and we stand for the most high God. That's right. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. You should not do what? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. You should not do what? Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Hey, you know what the problem is with our people? We hate each other. You don't know how to love each other. We don't shall in any words. We build thy neighbor. Do what? We build thy neighbor. Do what? We build thy neighbor. Do what? We build thy neighbor. Hey, the problem. Mom, you, you the... Okay, all right, let me, let me hear you talk. Let me hear you. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. When I came back to Washington, yes, I'm trying to, I'm teaching my children the way. Okay, I'm putting it to the most high. You got a weapon. Wait. Read, read, read. You walk. Read, read. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, talk. Ilya. You were talking. Ilya. You got a weapon. Wait. Hey, hey, make sure, make sure you get her with the weapon too. Because we're not, we're not, we're not scared of the old women out here. Yes, ma'am. I'm trying to stop teaching my children the way. Yes, ma'am. I'm trying to stop teaching my children the way. She got a weapon. Wait. Yes, ma'am. I'm trying to stop teaching my children the way. Because we're not, we're not, we're not scared of the old women out here. She got a weapon. Wait. Because we're not, we're not, we're not scared of the old women out here. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Recha Ha Kwadash. And double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Also, a sincere shalom to you, brethren, fellow followers and believers of this truth. Uh, shalom to even you, few sisters, and shalom to the hopefully elect. Shalom to the elect. Peace. So, I saw this video on um, Apostle Tahar's channel, and um, obviously, I was going to do a video on this, no doubt. Uh, through the spirit and um, this uh, I think he titled it a, a GMS member how would a GM, GMS member behave in this situation so I saw the video so I actually went to the video and I see this grandmother you know with the fringes right <laughs> she got the fringes on little looks like a border of blue I don't know she's confused 
she come up and asked them, how do they know the Israelites? And Deuteronomy 28 and 48 comes right to mind, right then and there. Um, you know, the curses. You know, that's easy. But what I notice is these uh, brothers of IUIC, the more they try to show respect to these women, the more these women disrespected them. Now, if you go into the beginning of the video, you will hear these women, the reason why they were mad, because the young women was walking by or whatever, and I guess they, uh, uh, IUIC got on them about the attire, you know, wearing what they're wearing, and women supposed to dress in modest apparel. That's something we won't do, right? This is what Apostle Paul was talking about when it comes to the law. You know, some some people abuse the law, some people overhype the law, and there's nothing wrong with following the law to the best of your ability, but if you're trying to catch men with guile, men, by the way, you know, I, I remember another IUIC member, uh, a guy was, he just came up to listen, and they said, take off your hat. The guy said, I got a flu, I don't feel good. And they said, just take off your hood. You know, come on, man. That's not how you conduct business to the lost sheep, right? That's not how you do it. But first, let me get a scripture. Uh, this is Proverbs uh, 9 and 8. It says, Reprove not a scorner, lest he hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. I have no idea why they are out here trying to reprove uh, these women. You know, a lot of their audience is women, right? So you see them put so much more energy in the women. And I don't hate IUIC. I don't dislike them. I, I, I don't like their doctrine because their doctrine is off. But a lot of it, they teach what we teach. But for the most part, they go off like on the name of the Lord, right? So I didn't see why they would put so much energy in the young women walking by and mothers and grandmothers. Yeah. <laughs> The woman go and grab some big hammer, some sludge hammer. And where did she get that hammer from? It must have just been laying in the trunk. And she knew it was in the trunk. Or I think I, I, it was a premeditated thing where she came on the way and she put the hammer in the trunk. Because you know she went right there. Most people don't know or can remember easily that they have a hammer in a trunk. But this woman did. So why would you entertain that? You know, this doesn't make, it really doesn't make any sense. You know, this is a grandmother saying, I teach my children. Well, we can see. You got to stay far away from this type of behavior, man. This is Matthew 10 and 4. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye depart out of their house or their city, shake off the dust of your feet. So... You know, it wasn't a good idea to sit here and debate this grandma with fringes who said you don't know that you're Israelites. Although it's in Romans, the 8th chapter, there's several scriptures that prove, you know, it's all by faith. But, you know, this IUIC group, they're not so much about faith. They're all about the law. And this is why they tell you the MOTB is not what it is because that requires faith. Just follow God's laws and don't worry and the Lord will take care of you. Right? That's what they say. Well, now they teach a little bit of Jacob's trouble. I don't know. But uh, this is weird. This is weird. And I think these Jakes wasted a lot of time now. If they wanted to deal on a... If the, if the people came up and it was a certain atmosphere or an environment or whatever, I wouldn't have dealt with them. There's no way. But they came up in a manner that they came up. Now, the scripture says, live peaceably amongst all men. This woman came and bought out a hammer, right? She said, it's hammer time, right? <laughs> oh, man, this is crazy. So they, um, they approached uh, the young lady, and I believe they had an attitude, and then they ran, the young women ran home. This tells you that Eve is nothing but trouble. They're, first of all, these are not, really women this is not the behavior or the mannerism of of women so you can't say that's what they are we have other names for it i'm not going to say that but you could have see where this would have went right 
Suppose it was some little, I know it was a little uh, son or a grandson there. Now, now, suppose he was one of those little thugs in the street, right? All this woman had was a hammer, which proves they're not, you got to look at the psyche of it all, which proves in, in the end, that's all she's going to have. There's not going to be no protection. That tells you right there, she comes and brings a hammer up to the camp. Now, if a man did the vice versa thing and put a hammer out, it'd be on the news and everything else. But this grandma, she says she teaches her children. Okay, let's see according to the Bible. Titus 2 and 3. The aged woman likewise that they be in behavior and become of holiness, not false accusers, nor give it too much wine. Right? Teachers of good things. And this woman would probably read the Bible and say she, she loves, loves God. It says that they may teach the young women to be sober. So we see that the only thing that will clean this up is the ICBMs. Because now there's too much privilege, right, liberty, and everything else for people to do whatever they want to do without any consequences or accountability. We see that now. It says to be discreet, chaste, right, keepers at home. Let's see what discreet means. I'm going to just hit it up real quick. Let's see what discreet means. We kind of know. You know. We kind of know in a sense anyway. Having showing discernment and good judgment in conduct and especially in speech. Prudent. Let's see what conduct means. It's going on down the, the, the hole. It says a mold standard of personal behavior especially based on moral principles the act or manner or process of carrying on management okay it says uh, prudent characterized by arising from showing prudence marked by wisdom judiciousness uh, marked by circumspect discreet so it all goes back to that frugal um, you get the point. So, the bottom line is, you know, the scripture says, "I send." Uh, uh, Yahweh Shah said, "I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be wise as a serpent, and harmless as doves." I think Matthew ten. So, there's no way young women run by a camp, walk by a camp, looking for trouble, because that's what they do. They stare up trouble. And this is the majority of, of these women today. That's why a lot of Jake gets killed, shot, locked up. They're like Terminators, man. They go out and they start and seek who they can destroy. You know, the scripture says the adversary, uh, um, roar, like a roaring lion seeking who he may destroy. Right? The, de the devil, the adversary, you know? And that's what they do. They sit, seek, you know, walk by. They want a little attention. They see some grown men. What's this about? And then when they walk by and the, and the men say something to them, if they don't like it, they're going home and they're going to call a whole block. <laughs> see, that's that's power. That's the that's left-hand side power of queen of heaven. When you don't have to be stronger than anyone, but through the voice of, and it's so-called delicateness, so-called, of femininity, you can get, you can cause an uproar and cause people to kill for you. Using your feminine energy, like masculine, to turn masculine men into fem feminine en energy. And then turn the woman into masculine energy. Right? And this is what you see, man. Let me get another scripture real quick. This is Isaiah uh, 1, 1 and 3. The ox know of his owner, the donkey is master's crib, but Israel does not know. My people do not understand. I don't know what translation this is, but, oh yeah, it says King James. Um, um, 
It's our sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, offspring of evildoers, children who deal corruptly, right? They have forsaken the Lord. They have despised the Holy One of Israel. They are utterly estranged. So you got to understand there's certain people that's not meant to get it. The scripture says uh, um, in Jeremiah, pray not for this people. There's a, a, you know, and honestly, you're supposed to be reaching the elect, trying to reach the men of the Lord to come out, to get them, edify them, and prophesy and teach. But these guys went in strict defense mode, but then backpedaled when the women came up with hammers. And, and this is what happens when you're trying to reach numbers, right? This is what happens when you're trying to reach numbers. You're trying to re uh, reach a broader audience. And, you know, you're trying to manipulate an audience such as the women. You know, women got power, man. They got the money. They figure they can draw in families. They can heap to themselves a couple of wives. They can match, make, and marry on and off. All kinds of stuff that, this, that goes on in this group. Matthew 7 and 6. Matthew 7 and 6. Give not that which is holy unto the dogs. <laughs> right but see they don't read this like that I don't think IUIC reads it like that those other people you see the majority of them are heathens man they are unbelievers now Paul went out to reach and speak to the uh, uh, unbelieving Gentiles but some of those Gentiles understood the heritage when you go deep into it they were just adopting Greek philosophy with it these people they want nothing to do with it. This woman had fringes on the grandmother and said they don't believe that they're Israel. She said they're not Israelites. So this is complete foolishness. And for these grown ass women to get mad and come into defense of young women, you can understand in a sense how the behavior goes in Babylon. But nothing was like said, well, what are you doing walking up there? What's up with that? Not showing these, teaching these young ladies how to assume response, accept responsibility and accountability. And that's why they all screwed the hell up. Anyway, cast, uh, it says, give not which is holy to dogs, neither cast your pearls before swine, lest they trample them under their feet and turn again to rend to you. Um... New Living Translation, do not waste what is holy on people who are unholy. Don't throw your pearls to pigs, right? Yeah, well, that would have been a good example. They will trample the pearls, then turn and attack you. And that's what's happening. You're going, you're trying to give them the truth. Sister, 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 sister look, sister, I see you got your fringe, sister. This is what these guys care about. They care about the carnal parts of the law. But the faith aspect of it, they don't have. This is what it's all about. They see somebody with fringes and all of a sudden, <laughs> they're holy. Come on, man. This is a bad example of teaching. Period. It might look organized, but it's a bad example of teaching. That's all I have on that, Shalom.